this is Hello, one? my children. Uh, it is I, Hello, Orlando, Father. Today, a Hello. holy man, and not because I'm pious, if you know what I mean. A heavy day ahead of us. We I I to wish to be a part of the Astolfo Church. To uh, the wrongs we have committed, I will do my job as a vessel in order to cast judgment upon ye and either absolve you of your real sins chat? Is or this a real? start into 2024 <laughs> to condemn you to the deepest depths of hell. I have asked my chat, I have asked my followers, my children that to is confess an amazing their sins. Thumbnail. We have been collecting these confessions via Google Form for the past two weeks. And today, we are How going is my day? to it's going go good. over Hi. them here. I'll see you in the confessional booth. The conf Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Some of these have been submitted uh, via voice clips. Hey, Father Lando. Uh, I just want to make this quick, sweet, and sweet. Ow! Thing. I uh, was dating a girl one Thank time. I'm 23 now. Thank you for subscribing! Like, in high school, so Welcome! Was, uh, you know, 16, 17, had that like high school love or whatever. And um, so we were dating just fine. We think we dated for like six months, seven months. And uh, still, like, the I love yous weren't being thrown around yet. So she hit me with an I love you, and your boy wasn't ready. So I kind of gaslit her into thinking that, um, like, to open the relationship. And I know, Wait, like, uh -huh. girl, I was doing it before it was cool, you know? So I uh -huh. her to open it, and she just... He said, he said, I was doing it before it was cool. When, when has that ever been cool? When has gas left? What? This just happened to wild. want her friend to be a part of it. So that was my key. That was uh, what I used in essence to uh, leave this girl. And um, I just want to say, uh, Jessica, if you're out there, I don't regret doing it. He doesn't regret it? Bro, bro doubled down. He doubled down. He was like, yeah, I did that shit. I don't fucking regret it. <laughs> there ain't no way! That defeats the point, my child. Look and see 22 that's, years X1. That's not a Gaslighting is not real. The, the point is to ask for forgiveness for your wrongdoings. Uh, my child, that is, um, that's absolutely, uh, absolutely fucked. Uh, in this scenario, I would have said, um, perhaps simply break up simply say i'm not ready for these i love yous i i would have probably done a similar thing maybe not hello gaslighting situation but i probably wouldn't you know someone is there and someone says to you i love you you're not gonna go mm, actually i do not love you because that's insane that's pretty insane as well there's some somewhere in the middle perhaps um a response what the akin hell? to um I'm sorry, that's very nice here. I've, I've had a great time with you too. I do have emotions for you. Uh, uh, but at this point in the relationship, I do not know if I'm ready for such um, committal words. However, I want you to feel heard and know that I do care about you and for uh, you to be opening up to me and being vulnerable like this. Opening up the relationship, uh -huh. the gaslighting, and mainly the uh, hesitance to show any sort of remorse for this situation. I, I am unable to give you forgiveness and I shall condemn you. Can I get an amen? Oh, amen. Holy Father amen. Lando, forgive me for I have sinned. My confession today is that I draw giant women doing unspeakable things to small people. And I'm not talking like Lady Dimitrescu or however you say her name. No, these, these bitches are like mountain lady giants. I don't plan on stopping, but um, Father, please, what can I do to make it through those pearly gates? Uh, Thank you for your time, Father Lando. Um, hey, uh, so, hey, yo! So we have a situation where someone is feeling a little guilty, perhaps, and seeking forgiveness for drawing a uh, giant... Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I actually have a story for you, okay? Um, so, I was in choir, right? And I, we had this, we had this, like really big concert that we had to go to okay as like a choir like it was a trip and so we were on the bus and there was this there was this one guy in my choir that he was he was a bass right and we we didn't we had like assigned seating on the bus because they didn't want anything bad to happen on the bus like because it was a really long trip or whatever and i got sat next to this guy 
And we're just making small talk, and uh, we start talking about anime because, like, apparently we're both into it. And I started, like, I started asking him, like, "Oh, what, what are some of your favorite characters?" I kid you not, he listed off every fucking like giantess woman, like in any anime that you could think of. And I just, I was so confused because the, all of the women only had like that one thing in common so i looked him in the eyes and i was like do you have like a fetish or something and then he looked me back in the eyes and was like i have a giantess fetish but you can't tell anybody and i was just like i don't i don't think i have to tell anybody because <laughs> You're so, you're so open about your favorite characters. I think like anybody can point this out. And then I never spoke to him again. <laughs> it was the weirdest interaction Interest I ever had in fetish. choir. I, uh, I will uh, give it that. Nothing. <laughs> he left an impression. Unethical about large depictions of <laughs> characters. I don't think. What'd you say? They're stepping on people? Also foot? Feet? It's like the great saying What? Goes, Ain't no rest for the wicked. Money doesn't grow on trees. Money doesn't grow you on trees. Do what you Money have grows to do to from trees. And as long as you are not performing anything inherently uh, unethical or immoral, I don't think that drawing giantess hentai is much of a big deal and so Giantess i hentai. forgive you for your sins and i need an update on my commission by the way can i get an amen <clears throat> amen your confessions uh, wait that, he has I a commission to welcome um your proxy for the confessional booth good sir please come on into the booth oh hey, father Hello, There's child. A proxy. Thank you for, for squeezing me in with your busy schedule. Of course, my child. <clears throat> Hello, Bless child. Me, Father, for I have sinned. I have never done a confession before, so I have a lot on my mind. Please forgive me, Father, for I have been a very, very naughty boy. Father Lando, I don't like the I watched way this Overwatch is going. NSFW for the first time a little bit ago, and I need to get this off my chest because all I can think about now is Wintermaker, and I, I, it just needs to stop. and. It has changed me, Father, and I, and I don't know if I can change back. Widowmaker! So please forgive me. Oh, what the <laughs> My son, I don't think you need a change. That's some good shit. <laughs> bro, bro was, bro really said, listen, Father, I got exposed to Widowmaker pussy. Now I'm addicted. How do I, how do I make it stop? And then Lando was just like, you don't need to make it stop, son. You're on the right path. <laughs> I absolve you of your sins. A fresh slate. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 It, was, it was only one time, Father, but since you say that it's necessarily not that bad, then, well, maybe I just keep doing it. And uh, maybe we see, we see how far this road goes. Father, bless me for I have sinned. Oh, God. As a dungeon master for a D&D &D for almost a decade, I've been making NPCs based on characters and people I know in real life <clears throat> that I want to fuck. What? This has led me to writing more than 20,000 no! words of fan fiction for this characters I've made up to get ain't no off. Way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. This, and I go to <laughs> great no lengths way. to hide it, Father. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's just like, oh my God. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Whoa. I, I'm gonna be so on. <laughs> I think I think when Lando did this like idea, he wasn't expecting such like out of pocket shit. He was probably expecting just like normal normal shit. <laughs> oh my god! I believe, uh, my child. I can tell this is weighed heavy on your heart. Although technically nothing directly immoral about your sin, very gross, <laughs> but understandable gross. to a degree. Uh, Understand? And in some way, I'm huh? proud of you to uh, proud. Your endeavor to navigate your 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 sick That's what I'm saying, Bungley. I want to absolve you. However, on, on upon further reflection, I do think this is 
not a crime, but it's a serial killer pipeline. <laughs> it's some, it's at some level, some stepping stone, this is on the pipeline. You're He's going to become a serial killer. And somewhere in between that and <clears> Jeff A. <throat> Dahmer is, in fact, making a bunch of D&D characters about friends that you want to fuck and making fan fictions of those characters, which are the people you know in real life getting fucked. However, because there's nothing outstandingly illegal or immoral about the situation, I'm going to absolve you of your sins. Keep it to the fantasy realm, and I don't think we should have any problem. I forgive you. Amen. Amen. I, Thank you, Father. I'm not Bless giving me, that one an amen. I'm this sorry. This wasn't a no. sin from 2023, but from many years ago, when I was like eight years old, my best friend's dad had died in Iraq. Before my friend would move super duper far away, I had the opportunity to be there for him at his father's funeral, but I opted not to go. In favor of watching Transformers Marathon that was on TV at the time. I haven't seen my friend since, and I think about this a lot during the holidays like Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Please, please forgive me, Father. That's so sad. Oh my God. Holy shit. I. That's huh? Heavy shit. Holy shit. That's oh so. God. That's so sad. The Transformers of all things. I think I forgive you because this is, and although your friend is the one who suffered the most trauma here in this ordeal, your friend and their family, I surmise, um, it being your close <clears> friend. <throat> that was sure to have an effect on you as well. I'm sure that this was a mechanism um, for you to escape the scenario, wow. escape this event, this ordeal of having to be there for your friend, um, which is, again, uh, uh, it is cowardly, yes, but not, for, not completely um, removed of uh, reasoning here. I can understand that. If you can endeavor to reach out to your friend, to be there, life is not over yet. The mistakes of the past, if they can be worked on now, do mm -hmm. it. Say, hey, I regret not being there for you. I've thought about it. I should have been there for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. I'm so sorry. And I want to be with you now. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned when I intentionally jacked off for the first time. My doctor I, had put me on medication I, that turned my urine the greenish color of Mountain Dew. Huh? I learned that day, it would also turn my cum green. Okay, first of all, Mountain Dew isn't green. So, what the fuck? Mountain Dew is just in a green bottle. It's not actually green. So, um, uh, is it like actually green? Does green cum taste di- I don't want to know. <laughs> Bob Blasty! His, his cum was Mountain Dew colored. I guess you could say he was Bob Blasty. <laughs> my underwear was white and the color wasn't coming out, so I buried it in my dad's trash can that was full of shit covered toilet paper. I went no fap for five months after. Father, please forgive me. I, it got worse! How did your dad have shit? Shit in the fucking trash bin. Flush it. Your, your dad is the one that's on trial here. Your dad is a <laughs> sinful, gross motherfucker. But throw that shit in the toilet. Flush it. Jesus Christ. There's this so much happening. You got your dad shit mixed with your fucking green cum on your hand? That's fucking nasty. That's fucking nasty, dude. What, you, what the fuck is wrong with Oh my with gosh. Your <laughs> your dad, your fucking jerk and green cum, and uh, first of all, of all places, you go to your dad's trash can, but then why did your dad put <laughs> shit cover fucking, like, gross? I do not forgive you, you're going <laughs> to hell, take that dirty shit out of heaven, Jesus Christ, you and your dad. <laughs> you and, and father, your dad you. are going Bless to hell. Me, father, <laughs> for I have sinned. One I don't want him. My boys caught me stroking off my beef in the gym showers. But the worst part wasn't that they caught me, but that I couldn't finish afterwards. Please forgive me, Father. The worst part wasn't that your bros caught you stroking it, but that you couldn't complete? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> bro, bro got caught and kept going? Wait. 
his bros walked in on him and he was just like, I'm gonna keep going, man. This, ain't, this shit ain't gonna stop me. <laughs> and then he got mad because he couldn't finish. Oh, God. I see you. You go on and get caught. Because uh, <laughs> otherwise, you would stroke it anywhere else. Also, your bros are there. You were setting it up. You were like Jigsaw, setting up the camera for the birds the to wake camera. up. The camera? You were setting it up. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. I'm currently reading BDSM Yowie in the bed next to my grandma. Please forgive me. <laughs> Why are you in your bed with your grandma? <laughs> Why are you in bed That's with your I grandma? <laughs> Why are you in the bed with your grandma? <laughs> That's it. Get out of the fucking bed. Get out of your grandma's bed, you sicko. I, I, I condemn you myself. I'm sorry. Amen. 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 Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. When I played co-op games with my friends and there was friendly fire, I intentionally damaged my friends while they were in combat to make it seem like they are taking more damage than they are. I, I, I did that funny. too. And I, I like the reactions when they lie. wonder how they die. That's based. Forgive me, Father. That's just based. I did that You're shit too. Those. Every <laughs> single group has one of these fucking dudes. You ever start a Minecraft server and you're all building your fucking shit and there's always one guy that, you know, first day's fine, second day's fine, but eventually one of your friends is like, I'm gonna fucking light a fire or I'm gonna fucking blow up your base. That's Every me. group has one that's of these me. assholes and that's you, that's my me. friend. That's and me. I can never forgive that. Go ahead and do some friendly fire down in the depths of hell. Amen. <laughs> I'm Amen. already there. Thank you, Father. Lando, Bless me, Father. I own I it. I have sinned. I used my grandmother's underwear <laughs> to fap when I was I... 19. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> you guys and your grandma. Oh my Is God. this the same guy? Oh, wait, what leave the your what? grandmas alone. Dude, I can't even <laughs> read that. Grandma? Oh my God. What? <laughs> leave your grandmas alone. Stop. <laughs> Listen. Granny just trying to get some some decent sleep. She don't need none of them hooligans using her undies. <laughs> Leave your grandmas alone. Up with you guys and your grandma. Is your grandmother Marissa Tomei? What the fuck? That's sick. That's oh. actually disgusting. What if she wore that? Oh. It might have been washed, but she fucking put her old fucking shriveled up fucking... With her shaky femur, the other leg, and she fucking gets up and she rides and gets it all snug in the fucking aged, aged like the old aged like Wagyu, like fucking Michelin star Japanese Wagyu. She gets it all up in there nice and snug, and she feels a familiar warmth. That's fucking nasty. What the fuck is wrong with you? I also, am your fucking grandmother's underwear. What do you have a fucking horse cock? That fucking the like, bloomers. It's fucking like an American flag waving in the wind. What, you got a fucking chalupa that you're wrapping around? What do you mean? You're going to hell. Damned. Amen. Amen. Father. A amen. <laughs> I have had more comforting and meaningful <clears throat> conversations with character AI bots than my own wife. Oh, my. Oh, Life my God. Life is pain. Uh, forgive me, Father. Oh. <laughs> I think I think you just needed divorce at that you. point. I'm so Fuck, sorry, dude. Oh my God. Wow, man. Should have married this bitch, huh? Damn. <laughs> That's a tough one, man. And I, you know what? I support this because, listen, it's not all fucking fairy tales, Cinderella. Yeah. Like sometimes you marry someone, and it's like. You know, maybe you could have been happier, yes, but it's not like so bad. And that's just your life. You met this person, you're good enough to each other. <laughs> and uh, you just kind of got to roll with the punches, all right? If you think your wife is a little vapid. Listen, Chad, don't, don't listen to Lando. You don't have to settle, okay? You don't have to settle. You want to know why I know that you don't have to settle? <clears throat> because... Because does anybody else remember that one guy from Japan where uh, he legally married Hatsune Miku? <laughs> remember, remember how they have like those uh, like the anime girl like coffee maker things where it's got like the little holographic like anime girl in it and like it acts as like an alarm and like will talk to you and stuff. Yeah, there was there was one with Hatsune Miku in it and there was a guy in Japan that legally married it. 
So he's legally married to Hatsune Miku. So remember guys, you don't have to settle. <laughs> You can you can marry the anime character of your dreams. <laughs> Can't find a person you like and vibe with? Don't worry. Marry an anime girl. Um, when you're trying to tell her about I will not marry you. or uh, what S Pen did on screen today, and she's not paying attention to you, and you're like, why doesn't she have meaningful conversation? Didn't she? Didn't she see what XQC said to S? It was fucking, you know. Then maybe she's the problem, dude. Right? So if if what you need is to find uh, mm, this very easily applies to cheating and all of a sudden my argument does not sound right. I, well, because I was going to say, if you can just, if you do the AI chatbots and can get that little bit of satisfaction so that you can pull back and go back to your wife and have a, you know, 80% fulfilled relationship with your wife, then what's so bad? But it's a form of emotional cheating, which we do not do, right chat? Get rid of the chatbot. Talk to your wife. Maybe pick some conversation topics that are wow. you think would be more in line with her. Maybe you're the problem. All right, what are you? All right, Mr. Stephen Hawking here watches perfect. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. 100% honest. With the amount of times that Lando, like, like, says cheating is okay almost and then backtracks, I'm starting to think, man. I'm starting to think that maybe he doesn't hate cheating. Best Orlando. I think too I'm wrong. smart to have a conversation with his wife. <laughs> it's not damn. meaningful. Oh, Lando, let me calm submit down. a confession on the Professor Lando's fucking pre-stream. I'm so smart. Just talk to your wife a little bit, right? Yes, talk to your you. wife. Amen. 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 Welcome, Father, for my friends, have had a lot of screenshots and clips of incriminating things I've said <clears> while <throat> playing video games. So I made a fake Discord girlfriend, slowly gain their trust, and used it to get the best secrets I, I could and blackmail them back. It's been going on Bro was for a chess fucking mastermind. Now. God, Please what forgive me, the father. hell? Dude, Mizkiff sent a confessional in on stream. Can you believe it, guys? Oh my That's God, Mizkiff? Wow. You know, I think to get back at your friends for some, some situation like this, um, I think I can forgive that. But it sounds like you got caught saying some heinous shit. But the thing is, like, you know what? People are allowed to be heinous people. If you're going to be a heinous person, you're going to say some wild shit, especially when you're with your friends on Discord. Sometimes it's a joke, right? In the moment, you don't really uh -huh. mean these things. Um, and you're, for, for your friends to be recording this shit, they weren't your friends to begin with. Who's fucking doing that shit? Who's taking these screenshots and stuff? This is a toxic thing as a whole. I recommend uh -huh. that... No, you gotta hold on to that shit. Cause your friends, if they have ammunition, you gotta have ammunition. So that's that that's granted. Um, you shouldn't have been saying those things to begin with. You shouldn't have been hanging out with people that you mm -hmm. think could take advantage of you or the situation in the first place. But if that being said, if they're going to do that, then you need to prepare your side, right? That being said, uh -huh. that's fucked up. You shouldn't have been friends with these people. You shouldn't have been saying these things. You're in your own hell. I don't, I don't need to condemn you. That's, uh, that's, that's a hellish situation. Always looking over your back. Um, I would say, I'll forgive you. Find some new friends. And don't say the shit that you're saying, probably. Amen. Probably Amen, don't Professor. say that, that was, yeah. That's, that's pretty messed up. Bless me, for I have sinned. I've pissed myself from sneezing, and I'm afraid it'll be shit next <laughs> because it happened to my brother. What? <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? A little piss, like I understand. That. <laughs> what does that mean? Boop. Like, yeah, a little trickle. It's a tap. Maybe, maybe your tap. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Much, You're not having full control. That's the. That's the. You know. Um, imagine if you went to your garden hose and you just went like this constantly. <laughs> that's the same way. Same thing happens here. What are you asking for forgiveness for? I. <laughs> That's all right, man. If you if what you, the fuck you know, does that say, Dennis? Physical uh, facilities, and you shit yourself. That you know. That's that's just life. Sometimes you shit yourself, right? So just, Amen. <laughs> Amen. Bro. Amen. Chat. Has any has anybody here in chat ever shit themselves? <laughs> of course. No. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no comment. Nope. <laughs> Almost. Yes. Literally two days ago. What happened, 
two days ago. What'd you do? Hey, man. Uh, dear father, I'm afraid I've committed sins against my homies. Whenever oh, I spend no. the night at someone's place, Not the I homies. jack off in their bed. What? <laughs> I found that it feels better doing it in other people's beds. <laughs> it's kind Hello? of embarrassing. By the way, with most of the friends I spend the night with, we usually sleep in one bed. Oh my God. Sometimes guilt gnaws at me knowing that they lay down with me on sheets that I've dirtied. I cannot stop. There are a couple times a friend almost caught me whacking it while my face is planted in their pillow. I don't know if they know. I'm not attracted to my friends, nor do I want to sleep with them. It's just the act of doing it there that makes me come so much harder. It's horrible. What? I feel like no bed is safe for me now. A couple of times, I think I what even did fuck? it in a bus with people besides me not knowing. <laughs> Please forgive me, Father, for I had truly <laughs> sinned. My can't. God, man, that's fucking gross, dude. Fuck, dude. That's real, Holy bro. Holy fuck. My psychological analysis of you is I think you were perhaps maybe An actual denying psychopath. some sort of latent homosexuality. Because that sounds like some kind of scenario that I would read in like a fan fiction like some Naruto, Sasuke fan fiction, alternate high school universe, but, high school oh my AU. Gosh. Like, I feel like I read that scenario many times before. It just seems like some kind of thing like that. Um, but that aside, it, that's gross. Especially you're like mm -hmm. getting off on them like being there and you're like, yeah, that's right, laying that shit. Mm -hmm. you got, the thing is, why I think that this is a case of, of you being gay and maybe not coming to grips with that is that like that scenario is maybe that that's like some kind of sick fetish scenario but you literally there's a point like my face planted in his pillow that's some gay shit that's like some fanfiction.net you you it's like in cursive in the that part was like written in cursive in and cursive. It, like it's tagged lemon fucking like it that was like some prose okay uh, so be true I... to yourself my friend be true to yourself don't deny it Lando's don't, just like, admit you're friend. gay. Admit you're gay. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I want to say like apologize, but you're not going to, what is it? Your friend's going to be like, ah, oh, that's all right, dude. No. So, you know, it's okay. You <laughs> it's okay. Here. You jerked I off in my you. bed stop. while I was right there. That's fine. One is stop it and bless <clears> up. <throat> Amen. Amen. A Amen. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. This is my first confession. Some time ago, I shared an apartment to myself for an entire day and decided to enjoy it by indulging in a day of non-sobriety. By the uh -huh. afternoon, I was beset by powerful munchies. But oh, I was out of. of snacks. In my desperation, I stole and ate an entire family-sized bag of Doritos for my friend and roommate's snack stash. After feasting upon these purloined goods, I fell asleep on the couch and only woke up after my friend had returned. In the meantime, my friend's dog had apparently torn the empty bag to pieces and got nacho dust all over his face, leading my friend to conclude that the dog had somehow got the bag and ate all the chips. In my he cowardice, blamed the dog! I let my friend believe this to be true, wrongfully blaming his dog <clears throat> for my misdeeds. He blamed the if it dog! Helps, I bought his dog the most expensive bag of treats I could find to make up for this mistake. Please forgive me, Father. That poor dog. He framed I the can't dog. You for this. You're eating other people's snacks? That's a, you're a fucking snacky thief? And snack you could have went thief. out and replaced it. Or, but in your fucking gluttony, you, you stole the snacks and you fucking, you passed out <laughs> in your fucking gluttonous, <laughs> greedy state. You couldn't fucking, st you couldn't even throw away the bag. Because you, know, you, you would get caught, right? You, the bag was out. You just, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you fucking passed out? That poor dog. You the, know what they the say, dog all dogs Dylan. go to heaven, but not you, my friend. Amen. 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 Bless me, Father. I'm into sissy hypno. <laughs> uh, Please forgive me. Uh, what is sissy yeah, hypno? I don't know, man. Like, if you don't know what sissy hypno is, no, that's what like I literally a, just asked. These videos often, sh they're like really fast paced videos. Really fast-paced, not that I've heard from other people, that <laughs> Sissy Hypno 
is like these, these like videos, very quick paced short videos of like mishmashed images of like women or like guys, but it's mostly women getting like fucked. And it's like, it's like, it's mashed together really quick. And there's always words like it, it almost like the winter soldier oh. being created. It's like hypnosis. It's like bright flashing colors with music. It's like, ping, boom, ping, boom, ping, boom. and they're, they're getting fucked to the music with, and they're cut in with words like, like submit, you are daddy's toy. Huh? Don't come. <laughs> Don't come. And it, it's it's sissy <laughs> hypnosis. It's supposed to like the, the idea is that men will watch this and become more uh, open to being like in this more submissive to become sissies. It's it's hypnotizing them to become sissy, which is like I, I feel. I I think. It's kind of like a derogatory term, I think, but it's, you know. Lando, why do you know so much about this? Why do you know so much about what this is? Why are you able to explain it this greatly in detail on improv? Just off the fly, like that. Why do you know so much? You know, basically some, like, a dude that gets fucked, right? And a very, like, girly you know, you're being like hypnotized. Like I watch it and it's like, ding, boom, bam, bum, submit, boom, boom, daddy's cock, boom. And then you're, you can, you're kind of like- you, <laughs> The you, you guy in the background's like, just dancing. Into becoming like a, a, a sissy. Um, like chastity cages and like all that stuff. Yeah, that's some sick shit. Dude. I can't forgive you. <laughs> Me? Hell no. Amen. Amen. A amen. <laughs> a lot of sin. Yes. You smell that? Oh, it's mm, I smell it. The sin. sin. What? I smell it. Purge the evil away from us. I have forgiven our brothers and sisters here. Thank you for attending. Uh, uh -huh. We are considered a very dangerous cult by the media, <laughs> by the mainstream public, you know, saying that we are causing casualties beyond unlike any organization they've seen before whatever that means thank you yeah. so much for attending <laughs> yeah uh, the sermon today oh I, I think we can all say uh-huh uh, amen a a man where the fuck did he go Wow, that was, um, interesting. It was indeed something. It was something. Uh, I want to talk to Lando. <laughs> I have so many questions.